Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we got a beer from McGargles. And it is a bottle of the Knock Knock Ned's India Pale Ale coming in at 6.5% ABV. There you go. Nice branding, nice label, nice bottle cap. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. But it's by Rye River Brewing Company out in Kildare Island. Okay, so beer pouring out. Ooh, it's an amber colour. Very clear glass of beer. One small one finger head, white head. Carbonation kind of springing up. The middle of the glass yeah amber golden in color nice and clear let's get my nose into the beer then and this smells traditionally hopped with a bit of malted barley in the middle there of the aroma. I'm going to dive in. Cheers! It's fruity, there's a little bit of bitterness on the back end, it's malty, and then the bitterness ramps up even further right at the end, but it's not a very pleasant bitterness to be honest, it's uh, it's a little, uh, how can I put it? It tastes <sighs> It tastes very chemically it's like a chemical, big, mass-produced, 6.5% beer. And that's all I can put it down to. I just... Oh, dear. Right. India Pale Ale was one of the first beers to be exported overseas. Unlike Knock Knock Ned, entertain crews of merchant seamen. Don't be fooled by his height. This world-renowned pirate impersonator with his two wooden legs is as hoppy as his India Pale Ale and equally as rugged. You can't choose your family, but you can choose your beer. And if I'm honest, I'd rather choose my family. I'd rather, well, saying that, no, no. I'd rather choose my beer, but it wouldn't be this one. It wouldn't be this one. Um, that is the third beer now I've reviewed from the Gargles, and all of them have been equally as unimpressive as, as, as the last. I give the Pilsner gravy. Maybe Pilsner, I gave it the, a little bit of the benefit of the doubt. Uh, it was just, it was, it was just chemically and it was just carbonated and it was just, it was just a little bit bitter. Pardon me. And then we did Granny Mary's Red Ale, which is really poor. 
now we're doing Knock Knock Neds India Pale Ale at 6.5% and it's like the other two but it's ramped up because it's 6.5% so it's got more of everything that made the first two beers bad but there's just a lot more of it and it's a shame it's a real shame it's just I know through my own personal experience that if I drunk four bottles of Gravy Mavis Pilsner or Knock Knock Ned's India Pale Ale or Granny Mary's Red Ale I'm just gonna have a raging headache in the morning it's just it's just got that written all over it you know it's, it's got that I'm gonna come to haunt you in the morning be a kind of nightmare about it I'm gonna rate it and um, yeah it's just not good it's just not and I, I'm getting ah oh, it just makes me it just makes me angry really because they put all of their efforts let me show you the three bottles all of their efforts have gone into the labelling, the marketing, and everything else, and the bottle caps, and the way this beer looks, and the website. They probably spent a fortune on the website, and none of that matters, honestly. None of that matters if you produce poor beer. Because nobody will ever visit your website again. Nobody will ever kind of, even if you produce the best looking labels in the world, they won't revisit your beer if you produce beer like this. This beer, Knock Knock Negs, India Pale Ale, I can't give it any more than a 3 out of 10. 3 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer, put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to my daily beer reviews and cheers.